If you don't know what ironing in 3D printing is, don't worry, it's not your fault. This feature is very underrated due to its wrong default settings, and every time you want to turn it on, it doesn't turn out really good. Today we're gonna fix it. But what ironing is actually? For those who don't know, it's pretty simple, just like a normal ironing. You just heat up the nozzle, and you get this top surface, and you want to warm it up, do another run on the top layer, put some extra material, like 40% flow of filament to fill any gaps. Again, default settings are not that great because when we have 15% flow and speed is like 15 millimeters per second, it's not gonna make the top surface looking very nice. We're gonna fix it today by doing calibration. We have three printers and I run some test matrices. I mean, this is like the 3D model, which we're gonna have different settings on each cube. So what do we have here is, let's say we're gonna do the Creality K2 Plus, for example. We have control cube here on the right side, which means that this is without ironing. And then we're gonna see which cube looks the best. We're gonna see that, for example, uh, this one looks the best. What we're gonna look for is the most perfect top layer and of course the walls. We don't want to see too much material around the walls. So this matrix, we ha I have a, a small hint here, <laughs> uh, we did flow between 35% and 65% and speed between, between 35 and 65 millimeters per second, but the line spacing was 0.2 millimeter. What line spacing, spacing is? It's simply between one line and second line of ironing, we have this small space. Usually we set it between 0.1 and 0.2 millimeter on the nozzle 0.4. Of course, different nozzle will be different spacing. So looking at this, we're gonna know that this is the first cube and it looks the, the best basically. And we're gonna know that this is the first cube of speed and first cube of flow. So we have 35 and 35. Then we're gonna see the second matrix when we set up the line spacing 0.15 millimeters. And this looks even better. But right now we can see that with this spacing, we have better surface a little bit further. So this is the speed 40 and the flow 35. So next we're gonna do the fine tuning on this one and we're gonna see that the flow looks better a little bit on a higher speed. So we have one, two, three, four. And this is from speed from 50 millimeters to 110 millimeters. And the flow is between 40 and 100% with line spacing 0.1 millimeter. So, Fine-tuning this, we get results of 40, 50, 60, 70, no, sorry. Yeah, 70, 50, 60, 70, 80 millimeters per second. And the flow was just 40%. And light spa line spacing, 0.1 millimeter. So we're gonna stick to this one. Just to be sure, I did it on the MK4S and Core 1. Basically on MK4S, I did it on a small nozzle, 0.25. This is not this one. This was this one. Remember, remember to print this uh, 3D model with the brim. So we're gonna you're gonna have this one nice sheet of uh, tests uh, instead of <laughs> when I forgot to print it. So we have it everything on one plate. Okay. So here we have the test between uh, flow 40 to 100 percent and speed between 50 and 100 millimeters with line spacing 0.1 on smaller nozzle. Remember 0.25 millimeter. So I can see that the first look comes to me and it's the third one on the top, on the top. So we have 50, 60, 70 millimeters with the flow 40%. So pretty close, right? Okay, I'm gonna leave it on the pile here and then we're gonna go with the uh, core one because this is more important. We started with Speed between 50 and 100, line spacing was 0.1 millimeter, so it's a little bit uh, better resolution. And the flow between 40 and 90%. So what we're gonna see here is that we can see the best results is also a little bit in the middle. Yeah, I think it's this one. So it's gonna be 50, 60, 70, 80 millimeters per second with 40% flow. Exactly that, exactly that. Right now we're gonna see the different test on the core one, which is uh, higher speeds and a little bit more flow with different line spacing because maybe 0.15 is better than 0.1, but we're gonna check it. Uh, in my opinion, the first column looks the best pretty much everywhere, but uh, the, the more flow we have here, 
it means that the walls will be looking a little bit more glitchy. We're gonna have a little bit more material because when nozzle wants to iron everything and it's too much flow, too much material, it's gonna push it to the edges and then we have too much material on the edges. So I think the first, this bigger one, biggest one looks the best and the second one, but we're gonna go with the first one. So we have 80 millimeters per second with the flow 40% with line spacing 0.15. So this is, it's fast enough and it looks the best. So we're gonna stick to these settings. Pretty simple, right? Remember that if you want to do ironing on different materials, you're gonna have different res results. For example, this is the uh, silk, gold silk, and it's not silk anymore because the slow speed just making it a little bit more matte. So it's not gonna fit any filament. You need to like test it yourself before you're gonna do everything on a big model. So this is pretty cool, this is pretty cool. Uh, sometimes you have these weird materials where they are gonna uh, have really, really rough top surface. So ironing will be mandatory here. Uh, and this is uh, ASACF, so pretty good example that you can use it to fix it. So I made these three versions of um, top surfaces. It's basically mounting point for a tripod for the camera. And here we, we can see the um, mounting printed without any ironing so we can see every lines on the top and we can see the different speeds and uh, every blob that it's uh, co one made so it's not that great right then we get uh, we get uh, default settings with the ironing and we can already see it's looking pretty good it's smooth but we can see that it was different speeds we can see infill a little bit, like a little bit matte here, a little bit silky here, which is weird because it was plain PLA. So yeah, it's good, but it's, you know, some people just don't use it because it looks not good. And then we have our settings and this looks a much better. It's a little bit more consistent. It's nice matte finish as you want to do it. And also we don't see any infill. So I think it works the best. Of course, different models are gonna have different results. So please keep this in mind. If you have big surface, it's gonna be looking good. If you have smaller and smaller surfaces, you're gonna see some changes between different layers, different areas of the 3D model. Remember that. As I said before, every printer can have different settings. This is why we're gonna run the calibration of material of printer and then you're gonna see which one is the best. But good starting point, it's 80 millimeters per second for ironing and 40% flow with 0.15 millimeter line spacing. Please check it out, maybe it's gonna work for you. Of course, if you have different material like PETG or maybe ASA or ABS, please do the calibration before you're gonna do the final print. Oh, I have one more good news. We have this special discount code for 10% off of every filament we have and it's also combining with different discounts. Please use Spectrum YT10 to get 10% off in our shop. Links in the description. Thank you for your attention. I hope this was beneficial for you and maybe we're gonna see each other in the next video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you want. See you in the next one, I hope.